let's go ahead and go Brian Branch. So I have him at three. Uh, out of Alabama, this is a safety, guys. Uh, welcome to the list, safeties. Alabama seems to have uh, this guy every two years or something. It's like super football IQ. Hey, we need him to play the slot a little bit. Yeah. Hey, we need you to play man. We need you to play zone. Hey, can you tackle their guy? We can do that. <laughs> this is Aminka, Xavier McKinney, Darian Th- Thompson when he was there, Deontay Thompson. Yeah. They always get this. They always get these guys in Bama. Six foot, 193. Some of the pros for him, hard hitter. I think he's the hardest hitter in this draft. Um, harder than Devin Witherspoon. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Look, just because Devin Witherspoon closes that speed and it looks big, I think <laughs> you're filling in a little bit more from Brian Branch because he's a little bit bigger. Uh, I put right here, he, he's like a fucking spider monkey, man. Like, he is fucking everywhere, dog. He is everywhere. And anticipation like crazy. Like, he sees stuff before it happens. He is on go all the time. Uh, I'm going to give out my comp right here just because I think it fits him so well. He's a bigger Buddha Baker. Like, he plays like Buddha Baker. One thing that I have a con with that I think a lot of teams are going to wind up, you know, fucking him over on, he can't play deep safety. And we don't know if he can because he never did it. Like, I'm going to go with, no, he can't play it. That's why he's a four. <laughs> so my comp, just so you know, is rich man Xavier McKinney, poor man's Minka. I don't think he's anywhere so, close to Minka. I'm that's sorry. why he's poor man's. That's why he's poor man's. So he ran a four, five, eight. And I'm not always the guy who's like, 40, he can't. He's not fast. There's a reason they were like, I put him in my notes. He's not Earl Thomas. You, no. don't, you, don't, you don't put him in the middle, the back end and say, no way. What the ball's on the left sideline, go get it. If it's on there, he'll never make it. He's not that fast. But he doesn't have to be. I think he's quicker in short areas. Yes. This is a guy who can play slot corner for you in a couple of situations. And I would even say this. I, I will be hard on him on, on this count. I don't think he was that good in the slot. Like, I don't think he was like, oh, my God, great coverage. No, like he's corner. he's not amazing at it. But he's. I think he's the type of guy you just you put and he's going to make plays for you. He's going to tackle well. He's going to cover well. He's going to – like, he to me, when he's playing zone, he really feels it out. He's like, oh, I see this guy. Oh, I got him. I got him. He, like, knows where everything's happening. Yeah. He has no weakness. To me, but he doesn't have anything. I'm like, holy shit. I've never seen a safety tackle. like I've never seen a safety that good in coverage. He's a jack of all trades, master of none. One guy that I really wanted to compare him to is just he doesn't fit the size, and I don't think he has elite traits like that. But similar in the way that the team uses him, Derwin James. The I know the Chargers played him everywhere last year, but I would say about two years ago, all they did was just like, Play near the line, be near the ball, kind of like Jamal Adams on a, on a certain case, and maybe Jamal Adams is a better uh, comparison because no, I get the because Brian Branch can 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 rush the passer, yeah, like no, Jamal Adams. And so, well, no one's that good as an edge, but <laughs> what I what I, what you said about Derwin is like sometimes you watch the Chargers and you're like, why is Derwin guarding Cooper Cup and man, right, and gets burnt? Why why is he doing that? Yeah, I could see the team being like Brian Branch. Need you to go cover Hollywood Brown for a couple of plays. Like, why the why are we asking him? And then he looks, excuse me, he looks bad. But it's not his fault. It's like this isn't what he's made to do. See ball, get ball. Yeah, exactly. Closer to the line of scrimmage, the better results you're going to get with Brian Branch. That's why I have him at three. And I I really hope whoever gets him, whatever the fucking team is, please just play this guy near the line of scrimmage. Don't play him in like. Your Cam Chancellor guy, like covering sometimes on the outside. Like, I want him literally as like a fucking linebacker. Like, put him on the outside, put him in the middle, put him everywhere near the line of scrimmage. Fuck with them because he is a fucking menace, bro. He's everywhere. He's fucking everywhere on tape. Okay. 